All right, guys, welcome to your 10th MySQL tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the basics of filtering. Now, we already learned kind of the basics of filtering because we can now limit our data. Well, that's nice and all, but sometimes we just want to be able to filter it a little bit more. So let me go ahead and show you guys a quick example of, say we want to select the ID and the name of our customers. So of course, customers, but we only want to select the person with the ID number of 54. So we go ahead and write where ID equals 54. So basically what this where clause is, is basically saying, okay, we don't want all the data. We only want the data to be filtered. And after it, you give it kind of a condition. The first condition is just this equal sign. You write the name of the column and then you write what you want the results to be equal to. And since look, oh, I just bit my freaking tongue. Since there's only one person with an ID of 54, it returns one result, the person with an ID and name ID being 54. Now I told you guys that there were several different conditions, one of those being the equal sign. There's also the not equal sign, so if you wanted to say something like with the ID not equal to 54, you can go ahead and do that. And another thing, you can go ahead and write a space between the equals and the values in the columns. You can either have it like this, or excuse me, accidentally deleted the wrong thing, like this, or you can have a space. I usually switch it up a bit depending on what I'm doing, but I just want to mention that. Again, it goes back to that white space rule. So whenever I would run this test, it would return all the results. However, if we take a look, you see that 54 is excluded from the result set. That's because we said, okay, give me all the results where the ID is not equal to 54. Now there are a couple other tests that I'm just going to talk to you guys about real quick. You can also have the less than sign. So if you say, okay, where ID is less than eight or something like that, go ahead and hit go. And now you can see there are seven people, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, who have an ID of less than eight. There's also a variation of this. It's less than equals. And what this means is, you know how this result set ended at seven? If we go ahead and run this query right here, as you can see, it includes eight. So less than or equal signs means, is it less than or equal to the value of eight? And that is what I want to be. And another thing, I'm not going to show you guys a test, but there's also the greater than or greater than equals to. I don't think I need to show you guys that test because it's pretty self-explanatory. However, there is one other test that I want to show you guys, and that is the between test. So where ID is between, and you give it two values. The first value I'll say is 25, and the second value is 30. You may be thinking that you may use a comma for this, but you actually need another keyword called and. So this is kind of a weird test. It's not like an equal sign or a less than sign. You actually need some keywords, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna return all the data where the ID, or this value, is between this and this. So remember, whenever you use the keyword between, you need two values using the and sign. So of course, 25, 30, there you go, just as expecting. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on on this tutorial is so far we only worked with ID, which is numbers, but what happens whenever we wanna work with text or characters? Well, let me go ahead and select the name and the state from customers where state, you can't go ahead and write something like this, where state is equal to California, because if you do, it's going to think that California is either, you know, a MySQL keyword that it doesn't understand, or maybe a name of a table or a column. So whenever you are working with where clauses and the value is text or letters, you need to surround it with single quotation marks. Now whenever we run this, notice that CA is surrounded by single quotation marks, and you go ahead and run this, it returns, it basically, whenever you surround something with quotation marks, it treats it as value instead of a keyword or a column name. So now as you can see, it returns all the rows where the state is equal to California. Pretty cool, huh? So there you go, there you have it. Hopefully you guys understand the beginning about filtering data and all the different tests that you can do. Not much to it, but uh, there's a little bit more that we haven't touched on yet, some advanced filtering, and we're gonna be covering that in the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys then.